I never truly believed in ghosts or the supernatural until that fateful night when I was left alone in our old, creaky house. It was an inherited relic from generations past, nestled deep in the woods, surrounded by whispering trees that seemed to hold secrets of their own. As darkness descended, and the world outside faded into obscurity, I found myself confronting a terror that defied reason and logic. The wind howled like a banshee outside, rattling the windows and sending shivers down my spine. I sat alone in the living room, cocooned in the dim glow of flickering candles, their feeble light casting dancing shadows upon the walls. My family had left for a distant relative's wedding, leaving me behind due to an unexpected work commitment. I tried to bury my unease with mundane tasks, but the ominous atmosphere of the house only grew thicker with each passing hour. As the clock struck midnight, a peculiar sensation crept upon me, a sensation of being watched by unseen eyes lurking in the darkness. I dismissed it as paranoia, a product of my overactive imagination fueled by the eerie solitude of the night. Yet, no matter how hard I tried to shake off the feeling, it lingered like a malignant presence, taunting me with its silent malevolence. With a trembling hand, I reached for the television remote, hoping to drown out the oppressive silence with mindless entertainment. As the screen flickered to life, a sudden gust of wind extinguished the candles, plunging the room into impenetrable darkness. Panic seized me, rendering me motionless as the tendrils of fear coiled around my heart. In the blackness, I heard it, a faint whisper, soft and indistinct, yet laden with a sinister intent. My breath caught in my throat as the voice grew louder, its spectral cadence weaving through the air like a macabre melody. I called out into the void, my voice trembling with desperation, but received no reply save for the echoing laughter that reverberated through the empty halls. Summoning every ounce of courage within me, I groped my way through the darkness, guided by instinct and the flickering glow of my cell phone screen. The house seemed alive, its ancient timbers groaning and creaking with unseen footsteps that echoed in the recesses of my mind. I stumbled upon the staircase, my heart hammering against my chest as I ascended into the unknown. As I reached the top landing, a sudden chill enveloped me, freezing me in place as a shadowy figure materialized before my eyes. It stood at the end of the hallway, its form obscured by the darkness, yet emanating an aura of malevolence that sent shivers down my spine. I tried to scream, but my voice faltered, lost amidst the suffocating silence that enveloped me like a funeral shroud. The figure beckoned to me, its outstretched hand a grotesque parody of human warmth, inviting me into the abyss that lay beyond. With trembling limbs, I took a step forward, my mind consumed by a primal fear that defied comprehension. The walls seemed to close in around me, their ancient whispers mingling with the wails of the damned as I descended into the depths of madness. In the heart of the darkness, I found myself face to face with the truth, a truth more horrifying than any nightmare I had ever imagined. The house was not haunted by ghosts of the dead, but by shadows of the past, twisted and warped by the sins of those who had come before me. Their voices echoed through the halls, their anguished cries a symphony of torment that reverberated through the very fabric of reality. With a newfound clarity, I understood my purpose, to confront the darkness that lurked within, to banish the shadows that threatened to consume me whole. Armed with nothing but my resolve, I faced the specter head-on, my spirit aflame with a courage born of desperation. As dawn broke on the horizon, casting its golden light upon the world outside, I emerged from the depths of the house, weary yet triumphant. The shadows had been vanquished, their hold over me broken by the light of a new day. And though the scars of that fateful night would linger forevermore, I knew that I had faced my demons and emerged victorious. But as I looked back upon the old, creaky house nestled deep in the woods, I couldn't help but wonder, was it truly over, or did the shadows lie in wait, biding their time until the darkness once again descended upon the world? Only time would tell, for in the heart of the night, anything was possible, and the shadows held secrets that would forever remain untold. By the way, if you want more horror and creepy stories like this then please subscribe.